Welcome to 45 minutes of upper body and core strength. Today's workout, we're gonna be working through groups of four, targeting the chest, biceps, triceps, and the abs. We have three different sets of four movements, working three rounds through, 45 on, 15 off. Let's get into it. We're gonna start off our warm up with our arms all the way overhead, fully extended, going into an alternating knee raise. So looking at this from the side, your arms are behind your ears, lifting your knee, alternating each rep, pulling your core in tight. So for today's workout, we have about 45 minutes total of upper body and core strength, a little bit longer workout than normal. We are working through groups of four today. So we're gonna alternate each set with four movements, focusing on a chest, bicep, tricep, and core movement. We'll work through each round three times through, 45 seconds on, 15 off, and then we'll take 75 seconds in between each set to fully recover before we move on. Go ahead and make your way into a modified high plank position. Fingertips are forward, screwing your palms to the floor, shoulders are over your wrist. From your knees, we're gonna go into an alternating body weight renegade row, setting up this movement right here. So rowing your hand to about shoulder height, pressing off your opposite hand, alternating each rep, working consistently here for about 20 seconds. You can refer to the timer on the screen for when to work and when to rest. You can refer to the previews in the corner. I'll guide you through every single set, working through our form for each movement. In today's workout, the beginner and advanced class is gonna be the same. Usually I have a beginner version and an advanced version of every single workout. Go ahead and move into a seated position. We're gonna go into a body weight modified Russian twist. So heels are on the floor, starting with your hands at your chest. You're gonna to twist to the side. Pause for a second, alternate each rep, really engage your oblique, slightly leaning back. So again, like I just mentioned, this class today is gonna to be combined for beginner and advanced. Every movement today is gonna to be low impact. However, the difficulty of this workout is gonna be determined by your speed and the level of weights that you're using. So the heavier weights that you use today, the more advanced this class is gonna be. The lighter weights, the more beginner. So you can really make this workout as hard or as modified as you need to. I'll offer modifications as we go along, especially for those core movements. We're gonna go into a traveling plank. So starting in that modified setup, walking your hands to the side, pause for a second, and then continue to travel your hands. Option to make this harder is to come off your knees. Working through this plank setup right here, key is to keep your hips stable as best as you can, preventing them from turning side to side. Again, we're giving the upper body and core a great workout today, so wanna make sure that we're nice and warm. In this warm up, we're here in this traveling plank for about 10. Good, and rest. Last movement in our warm up, going into an alternating stretch, twisting to the side, using your opposite hand to slightly pull, hold, and repeat. Again, this is your workout today. I want you to push yourself as best as you can. However, listen to your body. Take modifications if you need to. You can make the movements harder if you need to. Again, whatever you need for your individual needs and goals. Give me a couple more. Good, we're here for 10. I'm gonna explain the first set in five. And rest, awesome job. Continue to stretch it out for a little bit more if you need to, otherwise we're gonna get straight into it today. I'll explain what set number one looks like. We are headed straight into set number one. Again, the heavier dumbbells that you use today, the harder it's gonna be. The lighter dumbbells, the more modified it will be. For each set, again, we have four movements targeting the chest, the biceps, the triceps, and then the last movement is gonna be focused on core. 
We're working through those movements, three rounds total, 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. At the end of the third round, we'll take a full 75 seconds off to recover before we move into the next set. And those previous movements will go away unless we're switching to the opposite side. So we're gonna start off with our first chest movement, going into a dumbbell chest extension. So two options for this. Starting from your knees, you're gonna place your hands at your chest with your palms facing towards each other, wrapped around your waist. We're going into a straight chest extension. So extending your dumbbells out all the way, keeping them at shoulder height, pause for a second, and then back to that starting setup. Modification is to do this with a single dumbbell, extending out, back to center, and repeat. So again, option is to do this with two dumbbells or one, whatever you need, but we're starting the top of round one in 10. As you do this, you wanna engage your core, pulling your belly button into your spine to protect your low back, especially as you feel the tension. When you extend, we're on here for 45. Good, so in this movement, we're feeling the tension right here as we extend, pausing for a second and then slowly back to that starting position, keeping your dumbbells at about shoulder height as best as you can at any point. If you feel like your low back is starting to hunch over, that's where you can drop your weight and modify. We're already halfway. And rest, awesome job. Drop your weights, 15 seconds off, shake it out, you can stay right here. Next movement, we're going into a narrow bicep curl. A normal bicep curl, we're starting with our arms at our sides, palms are facing up, curling to shoulder height, this time moving into a narrow position. So you want to move your arms in internally towards your core, elbows are glued to your side, curling your weights to shoulder height, Slow and controlled on the way down, palms are still facing up. So working through this in a narrow position, consistently at a steady pace modification, you can do this one dumbbell at a time. Otherwise, doing both at a time, feeling the tension again, slow and controlled on the way down. This workout today is heavily focused on upper body strength. Again, a little bit of core with that last movement. So we're gonna continue to feel the fatigue, focus on our form, engaging our core. Go ahead and rest. Awesome job. Up next, we're gonna work the triceps. We have a single dumbbell starting on the right side. We're going into a overhead press with a tricep dip. So looking at this from the side, starting with your dumbbell on your right shoulder, you're gonna press all the way overhead, arms come behind your ears. Second rep, you're gonna bend your elbow, bringing your dumbbell back, and then pressing back up, engaging your tricep, and repeat. So back down to shoulder height, fully extend at the top, bending your elbow back in that tricep extension, pressing back up to that starting position, lowering down, and repeat. We're here for 20 seconds, continuing to work at a steady pace. We're gonna be on the right side the entire time for these three rounds. The next set, we'll switch to the left, so we'll make sure to even out both sides. and rest where you're at, great job. Our fourth movement, we just need a single dumbbell. Option is gonna be to do this with your body weight. I'll show you a few modifications. We're going into a jack hammer. So we're gonna start on our back. Legs are extended, arms are extended back with your weight. You're gonna lift your weight a couple inches off the floor. You're gonna lift your heels a couple inches off the floor. Then you're gonna bend both your upper body and your lower body together, meeting at the center of your core. Fully extending back out, low back is pressed onto the floor. Feeling this in your core right here. And repeat. Option for modification is to do this with your body weight. So working through that same motion, again, just with your body. Otherwise, other modification is to let your heels and your hands touch the floor in between each rep. So still bringing together, meeting at the center of your core. And then as you extend back out, lowering to the floor and repeat. Whatever you need, whatever modification best fits your needs, go ahead and rest. Great job. 
That is one round down. We are back to the top with that chest extension back on in about five. Good, fully extending top of that first movement. So we have those movements down. Now we're gonna pick up the pace for these next two rounds. We're working three rounds total. So if you can, continue to work at a consistent pace. You know which modification that you need. We're here for about 25. We should start to feel the burn sooner in this second round. However, again, at any point, if you need to modify or drop your weight, please do so. But if you can, I want you to push yourself. They go by quick, give me a couple more. and rest. Stay right there, drop your dumbbells, shake it out. We're gonna pick them back up, going into that narrow position in that dumbbell curl. So arms come in closer, elbows are pressed at your side, lifting your waist to shoulder height, feeling the tension on the way down here for 45. Modification again is to do this one dumbbell at a time. Otherwise, again, you're slow and controlled as you lower, feeling the tension right there, curling back to shoulder height, and repeat, that's halfway. And rest, great job. That is our bicep movement. Moving into our tricep movement. You can actually set that dumbbell out of the way for these next two. Back to the right side. First rep, overhead press. Going into a tricep extension, bending back. Pressing overhead, back to shoulder height, and repeat. As you extend, make sure your arm is behind your ears as best as you can, lowering that weight down and repeat modification here. You can drop your weight all together if you need to. We're here for 25 seconds, again, sticking to this right side. We're moving into that core focused movement after this, just with a single dumbbell or with your body weight. Go ahead and rest, moving into a jackhammer in 15 seconds. Either, again, starting with that weight overhead, heels are lifted off the floor, bending together, meeting at the center of your core, fully extending out, modifications, doing this with your body weight, or letting your heels and your hands touch the floor as you repeat. Good, press your low back onto the floor again as you continue to extend. Give me a couple more. We're back to the top after this. and rest where you're at, great job. 15 seconds off, two rounds down, one more round to go. And then we have 75 seconds off to shake it out and recover back to the top. Last round here in these four movements, starting with that dumbbell extension. This third round is where we really start to feel it. So dig deeper if you're feeling the burn. That's exactly where you should be. Work through one rep at a time. This movement completely goes away after this. We're here for about 15. and rest where you're at. 
Drop your weight, shake it out. You know what's next, going back into that narrow grip, bicep curl last time here. We're back on in five. Palms are facing up, curling to shoulder height, feeling the tension on the way down. Good, halfway right there. Continue to work through the burn. Give me a couple more. And rest. Move that single dumbbell out of the way, working the triceps. And then we're finishing with that core movement. We're back to the right side, extending overhead, tricep dip and repeat. We're on in three. Here for 45, last time on this side. Good, bend at your elbow, dropping your weight back, pressing back up. Give me a couple more full reps. All the way through the timer, and rest. Headed into our final 45 left of this first set, and then we have 75 seconds off to shake it out. We're going into that core focus movement, back into a jackhammer. I want you to keep with the same motion that you were working through in that first round. So if you had your weights, I want you to fight to continue to use your weights. If you used your body weight but kept your heels off the floor, then stay right there. If you modified, then continue to modify, but fight through the burn. This is where we close out our first set. Good, here for about 20. Again, all the way through the timer and rest. Great job, drop your weight, move your dumbbells out of the way. That is the end of our first set. We have about 75 seconds off to recover, so shake it out. We're gonna need this recovery. We're gonna continue to build in fatigue. The first movement of our next set is a push-up. So again, continuing to feel the burn as we go along this workout. If you want to, you can go into active recovery, jog in place, step to the side. However, this is a strength class, so minimal cardio today. So do whatever you need, grab some water, stretch it out, and then we'll head to set number two. Good, we're back on in about 15 seconds. First movement of this set, we're working through the same structure, biceps, or excuse me, chest, biceps, triceps, and core. So this first movement in this push-up, targeting the chest. Option for modification is to stay on your knees. We're on. Top of set two here for 45. So modification, you can start on your knees, shoulders are over your wrists, touching your chest to the floor, pressing back up as best as you can. You can also go into a strict push-up, touching your chest to the floor, Pressing back up. Other option, you can come down to your knees, touch your chest to the floor, press your knees back up into a high plank, and then repeat whatever you need. We just have three rounds total of this push up. I want you to push yourself. That's already halfway here for 20. If you can't touch your chest all the way to the floor, that's okay. Again, I say this anytime we do push ups, it's not about perfection. Work through the motion as best as you can. We're here for five. 
rest where you're at. Great job, go ahead and locate both dumbbells. This next movement, working the biceps. We're going into an alternating bicep curl with a wide arm curl. So I'll show you what this looks like. We're gonna start again with both weights. Palms are facing up. Normal bicep curl. So this time your arms are just glued at your side. Raising the shoulder height back down. We're gonna rotate out a couple inches out. Going into a wide arm curl. Pausing for a second. Rotate in. Normal curl. Pausing for a second. Externally rotate. Curl to shoulder height and repeat. Modification here would be to do the same thing one arm at a time. Otherwise, working through both weights, just working at a slower pace. Good, our next movement is focusing on triceps. Go ahead and rest. You can move a single dumbbell out of the way. We have triceps and core left of this set for round one. Moving into that same thing, this time on the left side. Going into a single arm overhead press with a tricep dip. So I'll show you from the side. Same thing, opposite hand can be placed at your side to shoulder height for balance. Extending all the way up, dropping your dumbbell back, bending at your elbow, extending up, back down to shoulder height here for 30. Same thing here, protect your low back by pulling your core in tight. Give me a couple more. And rest, awesome job. Headed into our final movement of set two. This is a core focused movement. We're combining a Russian twist with a knee to chest in a seated position. Couple options for modification. First option, holding your dumbbell with your palms facing towards each other, lifting your heels off the floor in this seated position. First two reps, going into a Russian twist on both sides. Next two reps, bringing your knee towards your chest, fully extending back out for both reps, back to center, and repeat. So again, two reps of a Russian twist, twisting to the side, then two reps, extending your legs out, bringing your knees towards your chest. Modification is to do this with your body weight and keep your heels on the floor. Lift them up as you go into that extension, replant and repeat. And rest, great job. One round down, two rounds to go. We're back to the top, headed into that push up in 10 seconds. Again, push yourself here, goes by quick. Just two more rounds of 45 seconds and this push up goes away. On in three. Touching your chest to the floor, pressing back up. Good, 15 down here for 30. Working the chest in this movement, core is engaged as well. Over halfway, less than 20. Fight through the burn, stay with me, last 10. Give me one more here for five. Drop down to your knees and rest. Great job, you made it through that second round of push-ups. Go ahead and grab your weights. Going back into that alternating normal curl, rotating out to that wide arm curl. Go ahead and continue to focus on your breathing, letting your heart rate come down if you need to after that push-up, second time through. Good, after that normal dumbbell curl, again, we're externally rotating our dumbbells out into that wide arm curl, internally rotating back in, back to that starting setup and repeat over halfway. Good. 
and rest. Awesome job. Two movements down, two to go. Moving into triceps. Back to that single arm overhead. Tricep extension and repeat on the left. Again, this is a strength focused class. My full body high intensity interval training classes, those are gonna focus on cardio. This upper body and core strength really wanna take time to focus on strengthening the upper body and the core muscles, that's halfway. Again, you know what to expect here. We're continuing to feel the fatigue. So fight through each rep. Again, one rep at a time. Go ahead and rest where you're at. Moving back into that Russian twist with a knee to chest. So either with your weights or with your body weight, that modification again is to keep your heels on the floor as you go into that Russian twist. Bring your knees towards your chest, plant them back down and repeat. Otherwise, you can keep your heels off the floor the entire time as you work through. Again, you're slightly leaning back However, core feels strong and stable. Good, over halfway here for about 15. We just have one more round through these movements after this. and rest, awesome job. Headed into our final 45 seconds of a push-up. This type of push-up is gonna go away, so fight through if you stayed off your knees. I want you to try to stay off your knees for as long as you can in this last round. If you started on your knees to modify, then definitely continue to stay there. Again, not about perfection, but I want you to push yourself here. Try to impress yourself when you feel like you're gonna give up. I want you to try to give me one more rep. I'm gonna count you down. Throughout these next 30 seconds, that's already 15 down. Good, that's halfway, we're here for 20. I know you can do it, don't give up on me now. Dig deeper here for 15. All the way, again, through the timer here for five. Drop down to your knees and rest where you're at. <laughs> Good job. Those strict push-ups go away for the rest of the workout. I promise you they don't come back. Moving into bicep, alternating between that normal curl to wide arm curl last time here. Good, so again, focus of today's workout is to work through groups of four. First movement is a chest movement. Second movement, focusing on biceps. Third, focusing on triceps. And then that final movement, focusing on core strength. Working three rounds through. This is our last round. We have two more movements after this. Then we have 75 seconds off before we head into our third and final set. Go ahead and rest. Move that dumbbell out of the way. Working on our triceps. This is our last 45 seconds. In this movement, all together, closing it out on the left side. We're back on in five. Here for 45 seconds. Good, I want you to stay focused in this workout. We should be really starting to feel the burn. If you're not feeling the burn at this point, then I want you to grab heavier weights. Continue to fight through again, one rep at a time, focusing on form, but pushing yourself that's over halfway. Again, modification if you need to, you can drop your weights and just work through this motion with your body weight. Otherwise, stay right here for a couple more. 
and rest. Shake it out, 15 off. Moving into that core movement, last time on a Russian twist, knee to chest, focusing on your modification. Here for 45, last time in this movement. Good, again, engage your oblique as you twist to the side, keeping your core stable. Your eyes can follow your dumbbell as you twist to the side and then fully extending. As you bring your knee to your chest, this movement goes away in 20. Stay with me all the way to the end. 75 seconds of rest coming your way and rest. Great job. 75 seconds off, you earn that. Set your dumbbell out of the way. Same thing here. If you want to get your heart rate up, go into active recovery, you can. Jog in place, step to the side. Otherwise, we are letting our upper body and core rest, grabbing, grabbing some water before we head into our third and our final set. We're back in about 20 seconds. I want you to slowly grab both weights, making your way onto your back. We're moving into a close grip chest press with a dumbbell pullover. We have some modifications like always, so I'm gonna show you what this looks like. Go ahead again, we're back on in five, lay on your back. Feet are planted, knees are bent. We're on, so starting with your dumbbells together at your chest. First rep is a narrow chest press. As you press up, we're moving into a dumbbell pullover. So we're gonna let our dumbbells drop behind us, keeping our arms extended, feeling the tension, using the strength of our core as well as we bring them back up, and then lower down, pause, and repeat. So again, first rep, narrow chest press. Going into that pullover, letting your dumbbells extend, however, trying to keep them hovered off the floor a couple inches, back to that starting setup and repeat modification is to do this with a single dumbbell pressing overhead going into that pullover and repeat that's what that first movement looks like awesome job second movement focusing on biceps we're going into an eccentric bicep curl so we're going to start in our normal setup palms are facing up however this time on the way down we're going to hold for three counts so we're going to bring our dumbbells to shoulder height hold for three counts slowly lowering down pause at the bottom and then repeat so feeling the tension slow and controlled as you lower down you can count in your head working at a consistent pace so that works best for you but the key here again is to slowly let your dumbbells lower to that starting setup Good, well over halfway. We're gonna work the triceps after this. And rest, great job. Move your weights out of the way. Up next for the triceps, our final tricep movement. We have a modified tricep push-up. It is not a strict push-up, I promise you, unless you want it to be. So, when we start in our normal modified high plank, our hands are about shoulder width apart. This time, we're going to walk our hands in closer together. From our knees, we're gonna press our chest to the floor and then press back up, engaging our triceps with this narrow position. If you want to, you can end in that high plank. So, touching your chest to the floor with your knees on the floor, pressing back up into a high plank and repeat. If you wanna make this even harder, you can go into that strict push-up. I promise you there was no more strict push-up, so feel free to stay right here in whatever modification that you need. Same thing, it's okay that you can't touch your chest all the way to the floor. 
doing the best you can, targeting the triceps, go ahead and rest. Make your way to stand. Final movement of today's workout. We have some standing abs. We're going into a dumbbell overhead march. We broke this down in our warm up with our body weight. This time we're adding weight. So arms are extended all the way overhead, going into an overhead march. So raising your quad, bending at the knee, alternating each rep, engaging your core modification. Doing this with a single dumbbell. Otherwise, doing this with your body weight like we did in our warm up. These are the last four movements of today's workout. This is almost the end of round one. We just have two more rounds and that's it. So we're gonna finish strong. How we finish matters. We're gonna work through one rep at a time, even if we are continuing to feel the fatigue. So stay with me. Closing out round one. Go ahead and rest. Make your way onto your back, back into that narrow press with a dumbbell pullover. Modification is to do this just with a single dumbbell. Again, starting with your weights together, pressing up in that pullover, hovering your dumbbells as you lift back a couple inches off the floor, back to parallel and repeat. Good, you should feel this in your core a little bit too as you raise those dumbbells back. Also feeling this in your triceps and then feeling this in your chest as you press back up, that's halfway. And rest, great job. Headed into that dumbbell curl. Three slow counts on the way down. Again, you can count in your head, pausing for a second at the bottom. One count on the way up, we're on in three. Palms are facing up here for 45. Good, focusing on our biceps. After this, we have triceps and core, and that's already the end of round two, halfway here. And rest, awesome job, move your weights to the side. Going into that tricep push-up from your knees, Option is to press off your knees into that high plank, but our hands are traveled in a narrow position. Again, to target the triceps we're on. Second time through. Good, here first 30. We have about five minutes total left of this workout. Stay with me here for 20. All the way to the end, last 10. You're doing so good, stay with me for five. And rest. Slowly make your way to stand, grabbing both weights a single dumbbell or skipping the weights and just using your body weight. Last movement of this round, going into that dumbbell march. As you extend your dumbbells overhead, arms are behind your ears, core is pulled in tight, alternating each rep. This is a standing abs movement, focusing on upper body as we hold in this overhead position here for 20. Good, all the way to the end.
and rest. Two rounds down, headed into our final round of today's workout. We're starting with that close grip chest press with a dumbbell pullover. So at this point, we're feeling the burn. In this movement, if you start to feel it in your low back, as you go into that pullover, I want you to drop a single dumbbell, focusing again on your form last time here. Good, that's halfway here for 20. Stay with me through the timer. And rest where you're at. That movement goes away, it does not come back. Headed into biceps last time in that bicep movement, coming to shoulder height, three counts on the way down. Good, two more movements after this. Stay with me and rest. Last time in this tricep push-up. Last time working the triceps. Again, this is a little bit longer of a workout today, about 45 minutes total with our warm-up and cool down. So fight through how we finish is so important. Last time here, I'm right here with you, gonna count you down 10 at a time. Good, that's 10 right there, here for 35. That's 25 seconds to go, that's halfway. Headed into our final 15. Stay with me, I know you can do it here for 10. Give me one more full rep here for three. And rest back up and rest. You're doing so good. Headed into our final 45 seconds left of today's workout. We're ending in that dumbbell march. Both dumbbells, a single dumbbell, or your body weight. It doesn't matter, all that matters is you finish strong for you. Again, this is where we end right here. Good, that's halfway headed into our final 20. This is where the change happens. Give me a couple more reps. Drop your dumbbells and rest. Move them to the side. Take a couple seconds here. That is the end of today's upper body and core strength workout, about 45 minutes total. Way to stick through, awesome job. Again, take a couple seconds to shake it out and then we are gonna end straight into our cool down. You can slowly make your way back into the floor from your knees. We're gonna go into an alternating stretch starting on the right side, using your opposite hand to slightly pull and hold, slightly twisting to the side, holding it here, and then we'll move to the same thing on the left. So awesome job. Again, that was upper body and core strength, working through groups of four, focusing on a chest movement, a bicep movement, tricep movement, and then a core movement, working three rounds through, 45 on, 15 off, and then we have that 75 seconds of rest in between each set for three sets total. 
Go ahead and move to the same thing on the left side. So if you're new here, I have three different class types, upper body and core strength, lower body strength, and then the full body high intensity interval training. I have both a beginner and an advanced version of every single class. However, this class is a little bit different. Most movements today were all low impact. What made them harder is the weight that you use. So again, the heavier the weight that you use, the more advanced the workout was, the lighter weight, the more beginner the workout was. So work out where you can really tailor it to your own individual needs. Go ahead and bring your arm overhead, bending at the elbow. Again, back to the right side, using your opposite hand to slightly pull and hold, stretching out that overhead position. You can follow the sample workout schedule that is on my website. It's like a sample week out workly schedule on when to do each day and then adding some cardio days in between as well. However, go ahead and switch sides. There's no right or wrong way to go about it. Really, these workouts are meant to just be an accessible space to get a good workout in with just a small space and a set of dumbbells. So whether you hate going to the gym or you can do these workouts in the gym, um, but you don't need to. So again, giving options to get a good workout in, to show up making time for yourself. We're gonna hold it here for another 15. Good, final stretch. We're gonna start in a modified high plank. We're gonna press our hips back and then we're gonna reach our arms forward, holding it here for the final 30. Again, way to show up for you today, making time for yourself, holding it here for a few more. And rest. That concludes today's upper body and core workout. Way to stick through. Thank you so much for working out with me. I'll see you in the next one.